I didn't think it would happen to me. But I've got to rewire this bed. To rewire the bed or reroute the wires on the Monoprice Mini Select, you're going to need a couple of tools. First, some wire cutters, a Phillips head screwdriver, a wire stripper, and a soldering iron. Then to complete the actual, with the actual materials you'll need, some 22 gauge wire for the thermistor, some eight, uh, 18 gauge wire for the heating element, some braided protector, uh, some shrink wrap, which I've got floating around somewhere, and some zip ties. So let's get started. Now to start, let's understand what's actually going on. First, we'll turn the machine off and unplug it flip it over and take a look at what's going on in the build plate. So these are the wires that go up to the heated bed and you can see when the bed moves the wires get stretched and they actually are rubbing on the point that it gets secured as well as up underneath the housing. So what we're going to do is cut the wires, reroute them on top of the tray and underneath the heated bed and bring them back around and in the side of the machine. I can't print anything right now, but I'll have to come back and print a new side cover and a guide for the back of the build plate so that I can route that and secure them. So I'll probably zip tie it in place, print those parts, and then finish the build. So the first step is we need to take off the side cover and cut the wires and reroute them around. Now the next step is we'll need to split these two bonded pairs so that we can splice in a new piece of wire. A little bit of a problem, I've got to take the bottom panel off to reach one last zip tie up inside the machine. So with this panel you're going to get everything opened up inside. There's our four cut wires. We've got one zip tie right here. So now that that first joint is soldered, I'm actually going to come back and tape over the joints with some high temperature electrical tape and then put a shrink tube in place. I need to do that now because once I solder the other end, I can't do it. I can't slide this on without cutting the wire again. Um, so I'll do this on this side, slide the part on the other shrink tube for the other side, and then solder those wires. So now we've cut the braided tube to length and we'll just melt the ends to fuse them together. And now watch as I struggle to thread all the wires through. So now that we've got everything through the nylon tube, I'm going to come back and put a zip tie down here at the end inside the machine just to secure it in place. We'll come back and snip that off later. I've got all four of my wires here in decent condition after shoving them through that tube. And now back to the painful part of trying to solder these four connections up here. I've pre-cut some shrink tube, pre-cut some shrink tube so that I can slide that on, solder the joint, shrink it, slide it on, solder the joint, shrink it. 
and then I'll slide the braided tube up over to cover everything, zip tie that in place, hold it down to the bed and down here as well so that I can print the new cover pieces to finish this project. I won't make you watch me solder these. Uh, because I don't have the support pieces printed yet, I'm just going to zip tie uh, this, this cable and put the whole bundle in place until I can get that printed. And hopefully that's good. And I'll actually do the same thing down here. Um, I don't really have a good way to zip tie that down, so I will just do the best I can at the moment. We're gonna just loosely put these two screws in so that they're sticking out just a little bit. Strap it down this way. That'll be good enough to get through at least one print. Now the moment of truth. Did we fix it? Platform reads 13, 14 degrees. Set it to 50, start it preheating. Make sure we didn't break something else. Okay, we'll call that a success. Feels warm. Time to download those files and get them printed. So everything's finished printing as far as the new covers. I've already installed on the back the cable guide for the, the print bed. I've got the rear panel printed and the front panel just finished. Just carefully remove that from the build plate. And down we'll remove the two screws that we put in to secure the cable while we were printing. And screw it back together. crazy about how that bow is at the bottom there. And there's just no way to, to secure that. So a couple of thoughts on this. Overall, I'm not very good at soldering and I did have to modify the, uh, the cable guide on the back here and cut a slit so that I could assemble it after the fact. Um, one more zip tie to secure the braided cable here on the outside. I've got to do something so that this isn't moving at the bottom, but all in all, I'm really just happy to have this printer back in action and back in functioning order. Um, if there's one takeaway, don't be afraid to dig into something. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing when I started this and a couple of videos, a couple of guides, and finally I'm able to fix my printer and get it back 